Good afternoon. Today's episode will be dedicated to Dolby Vision, or rather one of the two possible transmission modes. Player-led or LLDV we already know in general and have seen its innards. In fact it is a usual YCBCR 422-12-bit signal. So-called Dolby Vision with low latency. But there is another format of Dolby Vision video transmission from the player to the TV. The so-called TV LED or STD LED, where the data is transmitted as RGB tunneling. We've all heard of it, even seen the mysterious RGB 8-bit symbols in the information of your AV receivers or TV. Many people have been baffled by this, how it is 8-bit, not even 10. So it's bad and so on. So if you want to know more about why Dolby Vision is transmitted this way, then watch this video and you will hear and even see everything. No one has ever shown this yet. So you can consider it a unique experience to see the inside of Dolby Vision in RGB tunneling mode. First, a little bit of theory. What RGB tunneling is? Here's the information from Dolby Labs, simply put, this is the process by which YCBCR or ITP for 2212-bit video is packaged into RGB for 448-bit because it has the same 8.9-bit bandwidth as the YCBCR signal. And in addition, Dolby Vision requires dynamic luminance data which cannot be explicitly transmitted in an HDMI 2.0 stream, so it is designed to be transmitted through HDMI 1.4. The metadata itself is hidden in the lower bits of the color channels. And a CRC is also added for metadata validity. The HDMI 1.4 standard would actually be sufficient for DD transmission. For example, if you have not turned on the extended HDMI port mode in your receiver or TV set, you will not be able to see HDR anymore. While Dolby Vision in TV LED mode, when RGB tunneling is used, will be displayed in this mode without any problems. But because of the use of harmful and completely unnecessary HDCP, you actually have to use HDMI 2.0. There is such a table, here we just see how the original YCBCR for 2212 bits are distributed in the transmitted data. You can see that the metadata is in the color channels. And here is a figure showing the channel distribution of the original YCBCR in RGB tunneling. In fact, the metadata is already embedded inside the YCBCR for 2212 bits and then there is tunneling, actually shifting and redistributing the original bits without actually converting them. Simplistically it is a certain container in which to hide the original YCBCR for 2212 bits. From this table, you can see that the bit allocation structure is as follows. In the 8-bit RGB channel G are senior 8 bits of brightness. The channel R contains the color difference channels CB and CR, and also their senior 8 bits, and the color difference channels in the 4 to 2 format have an alternation, the even values are CB, and the odd ones are CR. Channel beat contains mixed data, here in bits 3 to 0 contain the lowest 4 bits of brightness, and from bits 7 to 4 are the lowest bits of color channels, which as we remember just added metadata. But this is all theory, anyone can read it, but I want to show you the insides of Dolby Vision when sent through the RGB tunnel. I did a capture on my card in RGB 444 10 bit format with EDID from the LG CX. Let's start with our favorite test file HDR table 1000. This is the original HDR video for which I added RPU, so it shows up as Dolby Vision. As always this is the test file that will give us the most useful information. Let's see, this is Dune Real Vision. This is Shield TV. This is Fire TV Max. And this is Homotix Box R 4K. Let's see, if we compare the pictures, we can see that the Shield TV stands out sharply. While all players have a red image, this one has a streaky red and blue image. 
This is explained quite easily. See in the original picture the background is black and zero, but the Shield TV has a problem with overestimating the black level, in any mode and in LLDV and RGB tunneling. Its black is not zero, for this video on the Shield TV it has values of 2 on all channels, which is why the Shield TV has a red and blue striped background. Now, let's enlarge the image and try to check with the RGB tunneling table. We turn on the G Green channel and see quite a wonderful black and white image of the source. But with one exception, we see exactly the original Y channel, without the influence of the color difference channels. Therefore, it has a different brightness distribution relative to the G channel for video in LLDV mode. We see in the Shield TV it's striping on the luminance channel in place of the blue gradient, I said in the last video that the defect with colors is there in both Dolby Vision output modes. It's the luminance channel, or rather it's 8-bit part. Yes by the way that the signal here is 8-bit we can really see, you see the gray gradient, stepped, not enough bits for a smoother gradient. Let's go to channel or red. I'm going to turn on 200% scale so you can better see that the image consists of vertical lines. This is the 422. That said, the source document on Dolby Vision Truth from 2017 makes the disclaimer that DV in RGB tunnel mode is rendered as 420, and 422 comes from adding metadata. But I disagree, you can clearly see from the image that it is 422. Maybe it would be different on the Apple player, but I don't have it anymore. We see the bars, some are responsible for the red and some for the blue color difference channels. This is our blue gradient. See the darker bars, this is the blue color. Here we see the Shield TV defect, the steps. Now let's look at the red gradient, it is light, this is the red channel. Now let's look at the thin lines in the center. For the horizontal interpolation from 420 to 422 generally nothing interesting, you can see that everyone except Dune Real Vision uses linear interpolation, and Dune on Realtek has no such thing, it apparently uses cubic interpolation. Now let's look at the vertical thin bars. First, let's go back to the HDR and DV test in LLDV. See, this is the output of this file in HDR mode with Homotix in 422. And this is the same file, but passed through Dolby Vision in LLDV mode output in 422. We are watching the R channel. As you can see a lot of unnecessary lines appeared, all due to additional conversions, HDR is actually output with a minimum of color interpolation, plus the nearest neighbor method, but DV doesn't have that, because of more complex interpolation algorithms and more conversions through RGB and LMS, the picture is much worse. The colors have gone through a lot of additional transformations. This is the original file interpolated by DaVinci Resolve itself. Then Shield TV. Fire TV. Dune Real Vision. And Homotix Box. As you can see the least influence has Fire TV Max the picture is less damaged by additional conversions. The situation is the same on the blue channel. And note that the Dune and Homotix have obvious banding around, as I understand it, this is due to a little more brightness and color mixing in other proportions of the signal. Remember how it looks. Now, let's go back to the RGB tunnel capture images and see what's in the R channel where the CB and CR signals are saved. You see, here we see the same banding on the sides, and now even in Fire TV. So, in the RGB tunnel, as well as in the LLDV mode, the signal has already gone through all color interpolations and conversions through RGB and LMS. And then the signal was compressed to 422 and packed into the RGB tunnel.
The only difference in this case is Shield TV has less vertical extra lines from the interpolations. Now let's move on to the B Blue channel. Here, as we remember, are the luminance low bits, metadata, CRC, and color low bits. We see a rather unpleasant picture. These are the darkest shades of color, for example, this Shield TV, you see the stripes that were on the original color version. Others have black there, but it appears as red in the picture. The rest of the stripes are apparently partly brightness, the very bottom of it, and partly colors. We see that everything in general coincides with the original theoretical description. Now let's look at the graphs. There is a lot to look at there as well. In fact, we are interested in the brightness graph here. In this case, the green channel graph. As we know, in TV LED mode when using RGB tunneling, the player sends the decoded signal to the TV and the TV applies display management and brightness correction from the incoming RPU metadata. That's what it says in the Dolby Vision documentation. But look at what actually happens. This is Dune Real Vision. This is Homotix. This is Fire TV Stick 4K Old Version. And this is Fire TV Max. Recall that Fire TV Max and Shield TV can process CM 4.0, while other players can only CM 2.9. And what do we see, in RGB tunneling mode, these players output already processed using metadata from RPU signal, brightness is already corrected for TV capabilities. Actually it is a usual LLDV, but packed in an RGB tunnel. You can see that all CM 2.9 devices make the brightness slightly higher, but Fire TV Max underestimates the brightness. Now take a look at the Shield TV graph. What we see is that the brightness is at maximum value. Shield TV honestly gives the signal not yet corrected by the metadata from the RPU. It turns out that all players except Shield TV actually have a pseudo TV LED mode, it is all the same LLDV. Perhaps the TV is not transmitted metadata because then the signal would pass twice through the correction of metadata from the RPU. Although perhaps it does. It requires additional tests already with the output to the TV. But Shield TV honestly outputs in this mode, for this you can praise it. And the blue channel is also interesting, first, it always has the maximum range, and it is completely filled with data. To demonstrate what players do output in pseudo TV LED mode, I will show you a capture of the file in which the values of L1 and L2 from RPU change. Here are all players at once, just the G brightness channel for convenience. See all players except Shield TV respond to changes in L1 and L2 parameters. The brightness of the image changes. Although I remind you that my capture card is not able to process Dolby Vision in TV LED mode. But the Shield TV doesn't. Although if I output its image additionally to the TV, I can see the changes there. It turns out the Shield TV does implement this TV LED output mode correctly, as it should be output. But other players here screw around and actually use pseudo TV LED, but in fact it is the usual LLDV. Next, let's look at the video in Profile 5. The Dolby Vision documentation says that here we should not have YCBCR signal format, but ITP, which is where the video is encoded in the fifth profile, but again the practice diverges from the theory. I did capture the same video in 5 and 8 profiles, for Shield TV and for Fire TV 4K. I could be wrong of course, but in ITP red should probably be a different color. At least in the original video I see purple instead of red.
But here I see the same red dress for 5 and for 8 profile. As well as in the art channel, where the colors are encoded, I do not see any differences at all. Well as we can see, the analysis of TV LED output in RGB tunneling mode has given us a lot of interesting information. Let's summarize, first. RGB tunneling is not some sort of magical encoding, it is the same familiar YCBCR signal, but it is simply put into the RGB signal, without changing the original signal itself. If you see information about 8 bits in the signal parameters, then you should not be afraid of it. It's normal, and there is no loss of bit depth. Second. All players except Shield TV, instead of outputting in TV LED format, actually outputs an LLDV ready signal, and this mode has no advantage over LLDV, all processing does player, not TV, as it was designed for this mode. And only for Shield TV does this output mode matter. If your TV can better process the RPU data to match the capabilities of the TV panel. Third. Video is transmitted in Honest 422, not 420, as it is prescribed in the documentation from 2017. Fourth, the video in the 5 profile is transmitted to the TV in YCBCR color space, not in ITP. Well, that's about it. I hope you were interesting and informative to learn about the mysterious and many misunderstanding output mode called RGB tunneling. Thank you for watching.